why? You're like Jeremy. You've got your whole life ahead of you, and you can feel for other people. I can tell. You don't know me. You know Jeremy couldn't kill anybody the way they say those men do. They said the same thing about Mrs. Thane, didn't they? What? The lady with the poison puddings. Nobody thought she'd swat a fly. Oh, yes. Mrs. Thane's pudding. She had all of London terrified, didn't she? You see? You never really know about people. No. Elizabeth. Where's Jeremy? Your friend's still running, Smithy. And if I were you, I'd stay right where you are. Unless you want us to bury both of you side by side. You saw coming his way, but the only thing that could get out of here to have to have wings. I must need new spectacles. shot, Sergeant, but at this distance, what I miss can't be much. No, Henry. They're working together. Take the sergeant's horse. Throw me off this horse. You better pull that trigger. And one shot will not get you out of here. Put it down, Henry. I'm not the man you want, Sergeant. Then how come you run away? I'm on a mission. Aye, for the British. I'm a courier from General Lafayette to General Washington. Next thing you're going to be telling me, that's what you got in your boot. Hmm? That's right to be seen by no one except General Washington. And me, if you expect me to buy what you're selling. Jeremy. It's that or have them not get through at all. Isn't it? That's right. Never carry one. Here. You call that a knife? What do you use it for, picking your teeth? Mm-hmm. And ripping boots. Personal armed escort. Easy. I'm sorry. Listen, we haven't heard any gunshots, so maybe Jeremy got away. It's not just that, it's him. I was always taught whispering wasn't proper. 
Nobody say anything about pointing guns? Find a dagger on him? No. Nope. Maybe you could tell us where the last dagger is, Jono. What's that? The dagger. You've always known which one of us is carrying it, haven't you? I don't think I know what you're talking about. Mrs. Thane's pudding. He's British. How do you know? Something he said while you were gone. A woman's name, Mrs. Thane. Uh, Thane? Well, only an Englishman would know. I heard the Redcoats use a phrase at home, as deadly as Mrs. Thane's pudding. She poisoned people in London. They hanged her at Newgate. And you think that... <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, ma'am, but uh, I heard about it the same way you did, from Redcoat prisoners of war. Where? Trenton. When? Last Christmas time. The woman's trial was only two months ago. <laughs> It was a do mistake, mate. When you get up, get up running. I'll do what I can for you. Let him be! Sergeant, we could easily catch him. I just did. Well, I guess there's nothing to keep us from delivering them papers of yours right into General Washington's own field headquarters now, is there? General's in the command tent. I'll take you in. Uh, you might show us the way to the camp bakery, too. A quarter of a mile that way. You'll see the ovens. Lieutenant, any idea where I'd find the 4th Pennsylvania? Other side. Maybe a mile. Thanks. And thanks to you. All of you for getting me here. You be careful, yeah? Only when I'm shooting off my mouth, Dutch. <laughs> now I show you where we take the other supplies. Thanks, Gustav. Henry, you and Isak meet us back here when you're through delivering the supplies. Navi? Oh, no, you don't. Not getting rid of me just yet, lad. Seeing what was in them papers, won't rest easy to see them in the general's hands. Fair enough. Lieutenant? Corporal, you're in charge here. This way, ma'am. Now it is! Must be his knapsack. What's that? Hindu. A scabbard for a thuggy dagger. Nobby? But he killed John O'Devery. Clive's unit was a suicide squad, prepared to kill themselves or each other to carry out orders. But, but they said there were only eight men, and John o made the eighth. Of course! That was brilliant! If they'd said there were none left, no one would have believed them. But by saying there were only eight, it made everyone relax when the eighth one was found. Then there could be any number more. There's at least one, and Jeremy's taking him right to General Washington. Now, if you'll kindly wait here a moment. Oh, I'm so excited. 
hide it. What do you suppose it's like? No different from the other man, lass. Except there's no other man could do what he's doing for this country. Known Lafayette would not entrust anyone over 30 with a mission such as this. Tell me, what is it that made each of you decide to join us? Well, I suppose for me, it was mostly what I've seen at home in Chester. People being forced to do things against their will. Jeremy. An idea, sir. The idea that we're all equal. The idea that we should all have a voice in how this country grows. Isaac. Freedom, General. For all men. And Henry. What about you? Me, sir? I'm afraid I'm just a born fighter. Very good. General Washington, sir. You carry on. Washington's unique ability to lead the American people forced the enemy to break the strict code of honor that scorned assassination as a military weapon. On June 24, 1776, two attempts were made on his life in one day. Thirty-four persons were found guilty of plotting to commit murder. Stay with us now for James Robeson. Followed by the Jimmy Swaggart Half Hour. And watch weeknights at midnight Eastern for the last laugh with Burns and Allen, Jack Benny, the best of Groucho, and Laurel and Hardy. All here on CBN. <laughs>